Very much, Dave. Ten years ago, a new dinosaur was discovered in southeastern Alberta. It was nicknamed Hellboy, in part because of its difficult excavation. And now, a decade later, Hellboy is on display at the Royal Tyrrell Museum in Drumheller. Dr. Lots of things happening out in Drumheller. Let's talk a little bit about Hellboy and how Hellboy earned its name. Um, there's two reasons. Um, the rock was extremely hard mm -hmm. to get it out, so it was hellishly hard. And then as the specimen started to appear from the rock, we, we realized that the horns above the eyes were like these little low stumps just like on the, uh, the, the comic book character. Okay, so we're seeing some pictures here of the site, and you were saying yep. that it took 10 days between three people to excavate Hellboy, and then following that, what happens? Well, we helicoptered it out, and we got it back to museum, and it took almost two years to get, to get the, um, the rock away from the specimen. That's the longest part. Most people don't realize how long it takes to prepare fossils. Okay, now this is exciting and this is sort of an idea of the scope of how large Hellboy is. And yeah. for you in the excavation process, the work is so painstaking and meticulous, but what's exciting about it for you? Um, you know you're going to get something good and even when you're exposing the bone, you're the first person that's ever seen it. Mm -hmm. No one in the history of the world has ever seen this thing before. Wow. And so that keeps a lot of people going. Absolutely. And we know that we're contributing to a body of knowledge. Right. And you must have just been in there and it continued to unveil itself. Were you surprised at how large and, and intact we, it was? We knew it was big. Um, we knew it wasn't squash. Most Alberta fossil, dinosaur fossils are squash quite flat. But this one's almost 3D. Wow. Um, which is pretty amazing. And it was sitting upright on a rocky bench. And um, it's an exceptional specimen from where it was found and when it was alive. And then we've got this bizarre new uh, horned dinosaur. There it is. And you can see it right in our backyard. Uh, I just want to see the artist rendering again. Is this pretty accurate in what you imagine Hellboy would look like? Yeah, my co author, Caleb Brown, and I, we worked with the artist back and forth, back and forth to get it to look like this. Um, it was a big, bulky animal. The head is huge, and you've got to think that there's a huge body to carry that head. Right. And um, the colors are speculative, but we think that frill is all for show and display. Than this? Which one? The, the, the Hellboy. Hellboy skull is longer than this. Mm. It's about 1.6 meters long. Amazing. And it was, there was probably things like tyrannosaurs running around with Hellboy on the landscape at that time. Incredible. Uh, tell us about some of the other things you've brought along here. This is a smaller yeah. piece. Yeah, so this is one of the earliest meat-eating dinosaurs, Herrerasaurus from Argentina. And I brought this along to show that the basic skull pattern and the teeth hasn't changed. So this is 210 million years old. Right jump forward to 65, 70 million years, and you've got the same basic pattern, just a lot bigger. Interesting. And how about these other fossils? What are we um, seeing here? This is, a, this is a marine creature. It's related to squid and octopus. Mm -hmm. It's called an ammonite. They're really common in parts of Alberta. And this, this one's interesting because it's got... Oh. Oops. It's heavy. <laughs> tooth marks. This was bitten by a large sea lizard, and that's probably what caused it to die. Possibly like the one we saw in Jurassic World. Yes, a mosasaur. Actually. Yes. And how about this one? I in years old. And it's formed by types of bacteria and algae that were growing and building up layers. So when these things were alive and growing, dinosaurs were still a billion years in the future. Amazing. That just shows you how old that is. Wow. And that's from Waterton Lake Park. Is that right? Now, you can see all of these things at the Royal Tyrrell Museum. Yes. Uh, the pronunciation, I grew up calling it Tyrell. No, no. Which is not the case. No, it's Tyrell. Tyrell, okay. And uh, the Hellboy ex exhibit is now open um, at the museum in Drumheller. For more information, we're going to put up links on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. Thank you so much for sharing with us this morning. You're welcome. And congratulations to you on what an amazing discovery right here in our backyard. And you're